All right, here are three ways you can actually hit your New Year's resolution to lose weight. Now, over 95% of weight loss resolutions fail, and that's because people do the opposite of these three things. Number one is don't try to do it all at once. People come charging into January and they wanna, they're gonna start doing five or six or seven workouts a week when they've been doing zero and they're gonna follow this, this nutrition plan. They're gonna do it perfectly, even though it's completely opposite of how they've been eating. And they're gonna try sleeping eight hours a night when they've been sleeping five hours a night. And they're gonna try to do all these things perfectly. But what happens is eventually you're gonna fail at some of those things because you can't be perfect. So when you start working out three or four days a week, which is awesome, instead of the six or seven that you told yourself, your brain is gonna start telling yourself that you failed. And then when you slip up with your nutrition protocol, even though you're trying to be perfect and it's a bit much and you're still doing a great job, when you slip up, your brain triggers failure. And those small failures eventually snowballs into this big failure and you quitting entirely. So take baby steps into your New Year's resolution to lose weight. Don't try to do it all at once. Number two, focus on the steps, not the outcome. Let's say your goal is to lose 30 pounds in 2023. Don't always focus on that because weight loss isn't linear. You're not always going to lose a pound per week or two pounds per week. Some weeks you might lose one or two or five pounds. Some weeks you might gain a pound. It's okay. You need to be consistent. But if you're always focused on that outcome, it gets really hard to manage. So instead, focus on the steps. Focus on getting in three to four workouts a week. Focus on slowly improving your nutrition. Focus on slowly improving your sleep. When you do that and you take that approach, you're actually gonna hit that goal of losing 30 pounds. And the third thing you need to do is get support. A lot of times people try to tackle their goals, whatever it is, they try to tackle it alone and it becomes really challenging. People that have a coach or some sort of support system are far greater at achieving that goal, at having success than when you go it alone. So maybe find a coach that's gonna help you with that. Find a program that really supports you, that motivates you, that keeps you accountable. And when you find that support system to help you achieve your goal, you're gonna be much more successful. So focus on those three things. That's how you'll actually hit your weight loss goal in 2023.